St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from an anonymous donor from Elliott Lake, Ontario. This Mass is offered in memory of her husband, for her son, for her intentions, and for the holy souls in purgatory. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My friends, we gather here today to celebrate God's love for us in this Eucharist. In order to enter into this celebration more fully, let us call to mind our sins, and let us ask God for his pardon and his peace. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. mercy. My almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Father, watch over your family and keep us safe in your care for all our hope is in you. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Every high priest chosen from among mortals is put in charge of things pertaining to God on their behalf, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins, He is able to deal gently with the ignorant and wayward, since he himself is subject to weakness. And because of this, he must offer sacrifice for his own sins, as well as for those of the people. And one does not presume to take this honor, but takes it only when called by God, just as Aaron was. So also Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest, but was appointed by the one who said to him, you are my son, today I have begotten you. And he says also in another place, you are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. And having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him having been designated by God a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. The 
day you lead your forces on the holy mountains. From the womb of the morning, like dew, your youth will come to you. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. God is alive and active. It judges the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, and people came and said to Jesus, Why do John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus said to them, The wedding guests cannot fast while the bridegroom is with them, can they? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloak. Otherwise, the patch pulls away from it and new from the old, and a worse tear is made. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost. And so are the skins but one puts new wine into fresh wineskins. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to God. 